Worried about someone wandering in by accident? Oh, unless we've got a way to crack the new encryption routine on the key cards. I still think we should have gone with palm print scanners on the elevator for redundancy. It's Reed's call, not ours. <laughs> Get a move on, Sam. My contact on the inside just sent me a text. Security's looking for him. He's a techie named Charlie Fryman. And before you ask, yes, I trust him. Well, that's good enough for me. Where is he? Near the server room. Get to him before security does, or he won't be able to help you. See you downstairs. Attention all personnel, please remember to keep your key card with you at all times. Without your key card, you will not be able to access the building and may be detained until proof of your identity can be provided. Thank you. been about was the truth. 
Even after everything that happened, he'd held on to that. But now he was coming back as the hunter. As the enemy. As the one thing he'd never thought he'd be. And the truth... It was waiting for him. I'm sorry, we're closing the office early for some routine maintenance. Please try again tomorrow. Thank you. I'm sorry, sir, but I'm afraid the office is closed for the evening. I'm here to see Tom Reed. Mr. Reed is currently unavailable, but if you'd like to make an appointment, Mr. Fisher, I used to work here. Security alert. Main power is offline. Emergency power will be online in five, four, Three, two, one, zero. Security doors are closed. just sent me his location. He's waiting for you in the office off the server room. Got it. find Fisher or anything else around here. But be careful. God damn! Target spot! Hold! Ah! 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 You ready to move? I've got no visual on the hostile.
Fisher? Over here! Are you Fryman? Yeah. Yeah. You're Fisher, right? Anna told me that you were coming. I, I was a big fan of yours back when you worked here. I was a big fan. I'm touched. What do you have for me? I've got those. Ultra high frequency sonar goggles. Better than the stuff the new splinter cells are getting. Hey, try them on. Voila. With these babies, you can see in the dark. You can see through walls. You name it. It's not bad. Plus, I tweak them so that you can see the security system laser grid. Trip the beam, and a turret targets the break. Nasty stuff. I programmed the algorithm. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, just one thing. Um, the top of the line guys are, are packing similar gear, so if you can see them, they, they might be able to see you. Thanks. Now you better get moving. Oh, I'll be fine. I'll just tell the security guards that I was reading in the can. You know, they'll walk me right back to my office. And you, on the other hand, it's... Good luck. Fisher could be in the server room. I want everybody there. ASAP. Back up. Holy oh, shit! Negative. No good. The area's compromised. Hold position. I've got no contact with Fisher. I do not want him Fuck. alive in our building. Knows all the tricks. That will do.
Gobin. Look, Lee, this was part of the deal. Protection. Well, protect me. I'm telling you, he's here. We need to do something about it. Raise the security level. Do something. He's gonna kill me. No. No, that's not enough. No. No, not good enough. What do you... Nice to see you again. Look, Fisher, I can explain. He's gonna kill me. Nobody's coming to save you this time, Henri. Now tell me, what the hell is Reed up to? Reed's working with Megiddo. He's using Third Echelon to get EMPs into the country. And cited in DC, I, I helped set it up, it's what I do. Why? What does Reed get out of this? The president. They're gonna take out the president after the EMPs go off. They'll paralyze the city. Use it as cover for the hit. Tonight. Why go after the president? I can't tell you! She won't play ball, but the VP is already in Makito's pocket. Uh, Reed gets a medal and a big fat promotion after it all goes down. That son of a bitch. Last question. This is the important one. What do you know about my daughter? If I tell you, you're gonna kill me. I don't know anything about her. Fisher. Like I said, they gave me a picture told me to provide a body that matched. I did a lot of jobs like that for Third Echelon. Anything they needed. Ask your friend Grimm's daughter. I worked with her a bunch of times. She knows more about this than I do. Shut up. Still alive? Good. I think. I just had an interesting discussion with your friend Coben. Reed's in bed with Megiddo. They're going after the president and playing kingmaker with a VP. The EMPs are for cover. Of course. Aid won't be able to get there in the aftermath, and they'll have a convenient terrorist attack as cover for everything. Coben had a few other things to say. I'm headed to your office, Grim. What am I gonna find there? Something long overdue. Patch me through in telepresence when you get there. We'll talk then.
in our building. Find them! God damn it! Clear. No sign of the hot side. Everybody keep your eyes open in case he comes back. Wasn't a civilian playing with guns. That was Sam. So tell me about Sarah, Grimm. Tell me why you lied to me. It was Lambert's call, Sam. He thought he was no. protecting you. He had a recording system set up in his office. Everything that went on in there he saved. Before New York, he gave me the access codes. The files can only be triggered on site and only by me. This is what he had to say about Sarah. Sarah Fisher? I'd received reliable intelligence of a credible threat against her, one coming from a mole inside Third Echelon. The threat against Sarah would be used in an attempt to leverage Sam. Sam would then be compromised, and I couldn't allow that. So I made the hard choice. I fake Sarah's death, taking her off the playing board. Without her, Sam would be free to act as he needed to. He'd suffer, but she'd be safe. The rest was detailed. Preparing a new identity for Sarah, securing her. Excellent work there, Anna, and keeping her hidden. Then use that despicable creature, Coven, to provide a body that could stand in for the girl. And then I lied to my best friend. Told him his daughter was dead. Took advantage of his grief and used it for Third Echelon's purposes. And the saddest part of this, I never uncovered the mole. The danger to her and to Sam is still out there, which means this has to stay hidden. You and I, that's all. Perhaps someday...
listen to me. Sam. What? You have to listen to me. What's done is done. But right now, I need you. I need the Sam Fisher I worked with. Haven't you heard? He's dead. Just ask my daughter. Sam, please. My analysts have worked through the rest of the data that you got from White Box. We know what they're doing, and we can't stop it. Then what do you need me for? They've got three directional EMP generators in place. When they go off, the pulses will blanket the entire metro area. Optimal coverage pattern predictions place one of those three at the old city reservoir site. You need to go there and disable it. Why should I? Because that's the one that will hit Sarah's apartment. And if you stop it, you can save her from what's coming after. And the other two? There's only time to go after one. So go. Save your daughter. I was never holding her. That was just a bluff to get you in the game. And for whatever it's worth, I'm sorry. What about you? I'm going to the White House with Tom Reed, and I'm going to try to save the President. Maybe I'll see you there. Attention all personnel, protocol 2319 is now in effect. Site cleanup and data sterilization has begun. All personnel must reach minimum safe distance of 100 yards from the building immediately. Sam, read launch protocol 2319. Get out of there, now! Warning, protocol 2319 is now in effect. Negative. No target is back! Back with the wrong guy, shithead! Warning. Protocol 2319 is now in effect. So now Sam knew everything. Knew that the best friend he'd murdered had betrayed him for the best reason in the world. Knew that the thing he'd helped Lambert build needed to be utterly destroyed. He was his own man now. And all his ties to his old life were gone. Except for Grim. She called me to call in a favor. It was too late to go for the other EMPs, but she did want me to go get Sarah. Sam deserved that much, at least. Meanwhile, she'd be at the White House doing whatever the hell she thought she could do there. So, I said yes. No way I was gonna leave Sarah down there for when the shit hit the fan. And I wasn't gonna abandon her father. Not even when he just waded in and started beating answers out of people. Then again, that was pure Sam. Pure Sam when he got mad.